The 13th Amendment, it's just 43 words long. It is so short that when you read it, you can almost miss its whole significance. You have to stop and remind yourself. 600,000 people died in the Civil War. 600,000 died over 43 words. Or to be more precise, they died in a war that decided whether those 43 words would ever be written. And not everyone supported the 13th Amendment. There was fierce opposition. But I think it's telling that when the state of Maryland held a referendum to abolish slavery, it was the votes of Union soldiers that put it over the top. It was the men who had been in the field and heard the battle cries and seen the heroic deeds. They knew better than most that everyone in the field was an American. A private in the 89th Illinois put it best. He wrote, quote, I have often heard of men say that they would not fight beside a Negro soldier, but the whites and blacks charged together and they fell just as well as we did. I have seen great many fighting for our country. Then why should they not be free? Close quote. It took a war to answer that question. We should be honest with ourselves. It took centuries of cruelty and injustice. But today, we celebrate the moment when our country decided, yes, they should be free. They would be free. And we thought this decision was so important that for the first time in half a century, we amended the Constitution. From then on, it would be the supreme law of the land. And so today, we celebrate this 43-word amendment, this new birth of freedom. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. And we should remember all that it took. The historic battles, the great generals, yes. But also, the men in the ranks. The names we have forgotten. Especially, the men who had once been enslaved. Men like... William H. Kearney, and Andrew Jackson Smith. These men, these men were segregated. They were mistreated, and yet they still fought. They fought for a country that had denied them their freedom. <laughs> they fought for all of us. And so, when we read those 43 short and simple words, we should remember these men and what they did. We should realize those words, like their acts, were gallant, they were noble, profound. We have witnessed true greatness in this country. And when we ratified the 13th Amendment, we could admit it ourselves to building a country just as great. That is what those 43 words means. This is what they represent. And that is more than worthy of celebration.